you follow me on Tumblr or Instagram, then you will know that a while back I did a fully raw challenge and I decided I wanted to make a video about it to kind of just give you my thoughts on my full impression of what it was like to be fully raw. I decided to be fully raw for just a short amount of time because I've been going back and forth about thinking about it for a very long time and I, the opportunity came up where I was going to be away from my husband for about three weeks and without any added destruction or distraction or any added just food smells around me I thought this would be the perfect time to start. So I want to just go through with you all the things that I kind of experienced um, just to give you a shot if you've been thinking about trying it. Um, just my opinion. So let's start with the physical changes. As of one, I lost seven pounds, which is astounding to me because I've been trying to lose that last seven pounds for a very long time, so I was super happy about it. I lost inches in my waist, in my hips, in my thighs, in my arms, everywhere. I was fortunate enough to have all my measurements taken the first day that I was fully raw and then again three weeks later and I was super happy with it. Um, the condition of my skin changed. I had like a dew to my skin that was never there before. I never get compliments on my skin and I was getting compliments here and there from lots of different people and it really, I was seeing a difference but then to hear that somebody else saw a difference too was really, really encouraging. So physically, it just really made me feel great and, and give me a lot of self-confidence. The feeling that I got while I was fully raw was amazing. I felt very light. Um, I felt like my muscles were more flexible probably because I did not have as much uh, acid to deal with and my body was awake and alive and I had a clarity that I've never had before. For example, one day, it was probably like maybe maybe four days into my fully raw trial, I actually walked 10 miles that day and I didn't even feel tired. Um, that's not something I'm gonna do every single day, but I was truly taken back that I had walked 10 miles and I didn't even realize it. So I had boundless energy. Another aspect of being fully raw was that it was really, it took away um, the guesswork of oh, what am I going to make tonight, what am I going to eat. I was just eating fruits and vegetables and that's about it and so I actually had a lot more time on my hands to work on other things that I wanted to do which was an added surprise. I really enjoy cooking but just having that extra time to read a book or watch something on YouTube, um, it was great, it was really really great. I have been a coffee drinker and I know that coffee is not good for you, it's not good for your system in any way, but I had been drinking about three cups of coffee a day and when I started doing this, after about the fourth or fifth day, the smell of coffee or the taste of coffee just seemed absolutely repulsive to me, which is crazy because that would never be the case. I went from three cups of coffee a day down to one cup of coffee early in the morning right before my workout and for me that's like giant progress. I would like to quit it completely but I still like that one cup so I think everything else is going out the window so one cup is not going to kill me. <laughs> and my digestion has been dramatically improved. I was able to just really get rid of all the junk that was just sitting there in my system um, because I was eating clean and the food was digesting so quickly I was able to just poop it out and feel good and go on my way and that was really really wonderful to me as well. The biggest thing that I struggled with was trying to figure out what macros would work for me. So if you don't know what macros are, they're macronutrients and it's the ratio of protein, carbs and fats that you intake every single day. Um, I have read the 80-10-10 book by Douglas Graham which I highly recommend. It's extremely motivating and gives you a lot of information on how to make this transition. And I had tried sticking to 80-10-10 but the first like couple of weeks it was very difficult for me because I felt like I was hungry and I wanted something warm and I wanted something fatty and um, so my ratio of fats was definitely much higher I was probably about 60 to 70 percent carbs 10 percent protein and then maybe 20 and sometimes even 30 percent fat per day but then as the time went on I did feel that I had more energy and my digestion was better when I could get as close as possible to 80 10 10 so 80 percent carbs 10 percent protein 10 percent fat and and I still, I'm still doing mostly raw, I'll tell you about that in a minute, but I still think that that for me is the absolute best uh, combination of macronutrients. And then just some random thoughts that I had while I was going through this experience. 
One is, I don't own a television, but where I am for work right now has a television, and my roommates were watching television, and there are so many food commercials on all the time for like the junkiest food, pizza, cheeseburger, things that I would never ever want, and yet all of a sudden, I could hear the TV talking about food and I wanted it. Um, I started dreaming again, which is very rare. I rarely have dreams, and granted, they were mostly about you know, running through fields of pasta and wheat and bread, but I was dreaming and I was remembering my dreams, so that was really interesting to me. And overall, I just felt a sense of well-being and clarity. I felt that I was giving my body what it needed and that it wanted, and it was running like a well-oiled machine. So that's a pretty amazing thing to me. So after that three-week period, I decided that I would just keep going. I think this is the best diet. Um, I have to say, two meals out of the week I am eating cooked carbs, so always vegan no matter what, but maybe like rice and some beans or some organic pasta, and I so look forward to those nights uh, when I have that. There's something for me that is really difficult to break having something warm at night, and that's just a matter of comfort and habit, but overall I'm having, so that would be five days of completely fully raw. Um, eating from morning till I go to sleep and then two days of basically raw till four But not in the raw till four way that I'm stuffing myself with calories that is often propagated on YouTube on the days when I do do raw till four I'm eating a much smaller portion than I had set out when I originally came upon all these 80 10 10 raw till four things um, I'm just eating till I'm satisfied not be on satisfaction and and into like feeling like I'm gonna puke because when you feel like you're gonna puke after you eat, your body's saying you had too much. So those are my thoughts. I'm gonna keep going. I definitely wanna hear what you guys think about this. There's so much information out there and I had wanted to try it so for so, so long and I'm really happy that I did because I think that it's opened up a new channel for me, not a YouTube channel, but like a channel in life, um, to really find um, myself again. And not in a spiritual way, but like in a way that Okay, I have a direction to go with, um, even a more clear direction. It's past being vegan, it's, it's moving in this direction, it's like a new level of health. I did not explain that very well, but I feel like it's a new level of health for me. And as I am getting a little bit older, it really makes me feel really happy and positive that I'm making these changes because I know that I'm uh, giving my body what it needs and it's the, the healthiest version of myself that I can be and it's going to help me um, grow and and do better as I age physically mentally spiritually um, emotionally um, when your body is functioning in the correct way you have time to focus on other things that you are trying to do in your life you have time to focus on God you have time to focus on everything else because you're not distracted because you're basically polluting your your system that you live in so long rant I hope that makes sense to you guys um, let me know if you've tried being fully raw or if you'd like to try it I was thinking that maybe we can maybe do like a group uh, fully raw even for like three weeks or, or or three days three weeks a week whatever you guys think if you'd like to maybe do like a fully raw challenge with me let me know in the comments below and let's see if we can just be each other's support system and try it out together okay I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time bye bye